Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've got a new full-length tutorial for you guys today with some winter-themed mixed-media inspiration. This time I'm altering a little box using Lindy's Gang, Finnebear and Mid from Castings. Check out the description box below the video for a full list of supplies, and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you like my videos. Thanks for your support, and have a wonderful day! I start by applying a layer of white gesso. I'm using a small wooden box, part of a set with three different sizes. I'm planning on altering just the outside so the inside can be used to actually store things. I'm using Finnebear tissue wrap to create some cool texture. I just tear some pieces of the wrap and adhere them to the box using Mod Podge Matte Medium. I'm applying a thin layer of white gesso on top of the tissue wrap. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, because Mod Podge creates a cozy kind of layer which can't hold on to inks or paints. The second reason is that I think the tissue wrap is a little bit too dark which won't combine with the rest of my project. I'm creating texture by cutting some pieces of cheesecloth and adding sculpture medium. This makes the fabric dry stiff and this will look gorgeous on the wooden box. I just love to work with different types of texture, so to add some more I'm applying a layer of Platinum Crackle by Finnebear. This is a gorgeous crackle paste with a platinum color. Make sure to keep in mind that you can dry crackle paste with a heat tool, but it won't help develop big dramatic cracks. But it does work if you don't have a lot of patience like me. I'm using some cute chipboard pieces by the Dusty Attic and adding embossing powder on them. You will see I'm adding several layers of different colors and types of powder. Especially the ultra thick embossing enamel will help me create some very pretty icy like effects. If you'd like to learn more about the embossing powders that I use, just check out the description box below the video.
I'm using black gesso on the resin elements, mainly because I don't have to add multiple layers because the black gesso covers really good, but also because the paint that I'm planning to use looks really pretty on a, a darker background. I've created the pieces using a Prima marketing mold and two component resin. I'm all into that resin because it cures in about 10 minutes and I won't have to frustrate myself with clay anymore. I really don't like clay because of the fact that it dries really slow and it quite easily breaks. I'm coloring the pieces with Finnebear Sparks paint. I haven't used the Sparks a lot before, but just recently I found out that this paint is absolutely stunning when used with Finnebear waxes. So I am literally using them on every project now. You do have to keep in mind that Sparks don't have a really good coverage uh, right away, so you probably need one or two extra layers of paint. I'm using Lindy's Moon Shadow Mist on a box to give it some color. I love the Moon Shadow Mist for pieces that are a bit more vintage like. These inks all have a sepia or walnut base and some pretty cool mica glitter in them. I'm using Gossamer Gold and Buccaneer Bay Blue. I spray them on my glass mat because I don't want the big ink spray circles on my box. Using a wet baby wipe creates a soft muted effect. As I've said before, I really like to combine paints and waxes. It's an easy technique to use uh, also when you start experimenting with mixed media. Just add a layer, a layer of paint and combine it with a layer of metallic colored wax. That just can't go wrong. I decided I wanted to add even more texture. Finnebrae icing paste, white gold, is just perfect for this little box. And I decided to use a dusty attic stencil to create a fun starry sky pattern. You might have seen me using this technique before. Adding paint to the bottom of a glass pebble. It's so simple but creates such a gorgeous effect. And because I'm using paint, I can make these pebbles match with whatever project I create.
some sisal fiber underneath the little moon face and adhere all the elements using heavy body gel. If you're planning on creating pieces with lots of heavy materials like metal castings, it's a good thing to use heavy body gel. But if you're just experimenting and want to buy one all-round medium, I would advise you to buy 3G gel. That works quite well with all, all sorts of materials. Finabe Unicorn Paste is one of my favorite mediums to use at the end of a project. It's a thick, transparent, sparkling paste that contains small to huge mica flakes and creates this stunning magical effect. I'm adding Finabare mica flakes and glitter to really finish the project. The glitter creates a holiday kind of feeling, perfect for my winter themed box. box all finished. I really had a lot of fun creating this one with all these fun techniques and a blue brown color combo is always the right choice for a winter themed piece if you ask me. If you have any questions just leave them in the comments below the video. Make sure to check out the list of supplies too and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.